Hey, how's it going? Thanks for tuning in. And in this video, we'll be doing a short review on the Lensun solar panel. So I've had this solar panel for about a year and a half now. This is the 90 watt 80 series version. The kit comes with the vinyl, the panel, and the MPPT controller, which is what you need to plug into your 12 volt system. It's gonna determine when the panel needs to give energy to the battery or to your supply. With the controller, you're also able to monitor your parameters on your app using the Solar Life app that you're able to download. The panel has been doing everything that I needed it to do. I do not have a dual battery system in this truck yet. What I have the panel for is so that way I can help charge the AGM battery that's in the truck. The alternator in the stock 80 series, this is a 80 amp alternator. It doesn't charge AGM batteries the way AGM batteries need to be charged. But with the solar panel piggybacking onto the alternator, I'm able to get a full charge now at, on this AGM battery. Before I was only getting maybe about 90%, but now I'm able to get the full 100%. And that's with the help of the solar panel. So while the car's off, it's charging right now back to 100%. The cool thing is with the panel again, is that once the battery is to 100%, the controller cuts flow from the panel. And by doing so, you know, it helps prolong the life of the battery. You're not overcharging. You don't have to worry about overcharging. The main issue that I did have with this panel was the perimeter bubbling up and stuff. But I was told by Lens Sun that it was a quality control issue and that water had gotten into the molds while they were making them. Initially, I didn't notice any bubbling there. I didn't see anything when I had first installed that panel. Maybe about a year in, that's when I started noticing the bubbling on the sides. I think the coating or the actual mold itself was probably compromised by that point because that's when I started to notice a lot of fading on the, on the panel. So I'm hoping that that really was just a quality control issue. I'm hoping this one will last a lot longer because again, I just love the fitment. Now I will say installation of the panel is probably the part that everybody's worried about because of installing the vinyl that's on there. Make sure you spray a lot of soapy water on there so that way you can get the fitment proper. I suggest not starting from the center of the panel going out, which I think other people would probably do. But for me, what worked out best because it's such a large hood was going from one side to the other. So my favorite aspect of the whole solar panel kit from Lens Sun would be the controller because the controller does exactly what it's meant to do. It cuts power from the panel to the battery exactly when it needs to. And then it puts that power back in once the battery is drained enough. The other thing that I like about the controller is that it allows for a second panel to be plugged in. And also you can plug in your dual battery system from there. My least favorite thing about the panel would be the app that it comes with. The app is terrible. I can't emphasize it enough. I spoke on it earlier. It's a terrible app. So anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you to Lens Sun for sending me out a second panel after the first one had that issue. And if you guys liked the video, give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing and stay tuned.